to the Puget Sound. We're in Seattle, Washington. This coin toss presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Stanford will be kicking off, and you can just feel the energy in the air for this opening kickoff. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. They'll bring him down at about the 27-yard line. Pulls it in, and that's a first down. Brought down at about the 41. A nice looking play that time. Well, the defense was blitzing here, and again, great recognition by the quarterback to find the hot receiver. And they get nice yardage on that run. That makes it 76. at the 42. There's nothing better than having an athletic, versatile, and instinctive safety. He makes a big-time play here with his recognition of the run, comes up and does what he does best, which is making a nice, short tackle on the ball carrier. Third and nine. Ball on their own 42. Empty backfield. Quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. This guy has that innate ability to get just enough distance from a defender to make a completion possible. You don't see it from every receiver, but this guy's got it. They come out on an empty backfield. Gets it, he's in space. And down he goes at the 10-yard line. And a great pass play that time. And here we see just how much this defense respects the running game. They got sucked in here on the play action and got beat on the pass. Good play call. Quick throw in the end zone, touchdown. They call it a catch, but the booth signaled down to the referee that they'd like to take another peek at this. Man, as I see this play again, it really looks like he made the correct call on the field. After review of the play, the ruling on the field stands. Well, I think the play warranted a review, but the call on the field stands. Washington with a six-point lead. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A seven-play, 75-yard drive, and they put up seven points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. The score now, 7-0. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Taken down right around the 26-yard line. From their own 26-yard line, second down. Completes it, but he can't shake the defense. That's good for a gain of five yards. That'll bring up third and four. Quick throw. Tackle made at the 47. With the catch. Williams on the tackle at the 47 yard line. First down. From the 47 yard line. First down. He 
fights forward to about the 46. Got it out to his tight end. He's tackled around the 34-yard line. He is such a good target, really anywhere on the field. But they like to get him the ball in short to medium range situations. From the 34-yard line, it's first down. Tackled after a decent run up the gut. That makes it second and six. They come out in a goal line set. And he is drilled at the 29. And this play is number eight on the drive. He's at the 20. And he's tackled at about the 15-yard line. What a relief it is for a quarterback to know that he's got a receiver like this who can step up when he needs him on third down. From the 15-yard line, first down. Tackled after a decent pickup. That's good for a gain of four yards. That brings us. This is the 10th play of this drive. Off and he's met immediately. Gets it out quickly, and he shoved out of bounds right around the four yard line. Call it a game of seven yards. That makes it first and goal. We're at the 12th play of the drive. I'm coming after you. I'm coming after you. I'm coming after you. Run, run, run. Touchdown, Stanford. So the halfback took it in for six. Simple play call there by the offensive coordinator. Just give it to the back and let him find his way into the end zone will be tied with the extra point. And he tacks on the extra point. A 12-play, 75-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. You know, Brad, a lot of times you have to watch practice and watch a seven-on-seven -seven drill and not see the ball touch the ground. But this time, they went the entire length of the field. The ball never touched the ground. Great execution by the quarterback and the receiver. I was really impressed with their last series. They came out with a focus on the passing game, and the offense got the job done. We'll see if they have the same strategy here. He's knocked out of bounds at the 26. Pretty nice pickup here. These guys are getting very tight on their timing. They make the stop at the 27-yard line. Call it a game of one yard. That'll bring up third and two. They're going to pitch it. And he's taken down around the 26-yard line. The defense was playing run all the way right there, and it paid off for him. Fourth down. Wilson is back to receive. Wilson fields it at the 35, and he makes it out to about the 44-yard line. Well, they got the result you always want on the last drive. Let's see if it happens again. 
I love to watch a quarterback when he can really get into sync with his wide receivers. These guys have worked all week on their preparation to attack this defense, and right now, it's really paying off. And he carries the ball for a nice game. That brings him second and five. Second and five, ball on the 49. Quick pass. They'll bring him down around the 33 yard line. That's a game of 18 on the way. First down. From the 33 yard line. First down. And he makes it out to about the 31-yard line. That brings up second and nine. Man left, man left. Pull down, pull down. Hey, I got number 80. I got number 80. Moves up in the pocket. And he's level at the 15. Number 22 on the top at the 15-yard line. First down. First and ten. Ball on the 15. Catches it and he's punished. That brings him second and five. He makes it to the nine. They're about four yards away here on third down. And he throws it away. Stanford is looking to go up by three. He gets it up, and it's good. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. They'll bring him down at the 26-yard line. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Nice run there as they work the outside. Bynum gets the carry. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. The offensive line needs to do a better job of not only handling the defensive linemen, but getting up to the linebackers. That way the ball carriers will have a little bit more room to get to that second level. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. It's caught first down, and he's out of bounds. Fires out to his receiver. Brought down at the 38-yard line. We played one quarter. Stanford leads it 10-7. Back to the action here in the second quarter. It's been a good one and a tight one at this point. Up the middle for a nice game.
slides forward to about the 33. That's good for a gain of one yard. That'll make it 35. He just gets rid of it. So the kicker comes out. He'll try to put three points on the board. Washington can tie it up here with this kick. The kick is up. It's got the distance. And it's wide left. No good. Every time you have a chance to finish a drive with points, you've got to capitalize. That time, they couldn't come through. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Stanford has a three-point lead. He makes it to the 35-yard line. From their own 35-yard line, second down. Hands it to the back. And he makes it out to about the 37-yard line. That's a game of two. That'll bring up third and six. Two-yard line. That's a team of five on the play. That'll bring up fourth and one. McGrew, the return man. He punts it away, and it's a great kick. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Guns it across the middle. And got him! Tackle at the 43-yard line. Pass right, running back's got it. Knocked out of bounds, right around the 36-yard line. That's good for a gain of seven yards. That'll make it second and four. Gains his way to the 16-yard line. to the back. Gets to about the eight-yard line. That's good for the eight two yards. That'll bring up third and two. And down he goes at about the three-yard line. First and goal from the two. Let's see if they just don't try to power their way into the end zone here. Touchdown, Huskies! And he adds the extra point. Henry has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. And he's taken down at the 17-yard line. Well, this has been a fun game to watch, going back and forth and back and forth. It's almost like watching a tennis match here. Whoever has the ball last, my guess, will be the team that wins it. 
In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Makes it out to about the 26. That brings up second and one. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Gets to about the 27-yard line. That's a game of one on the play. First down. They go right back to him, and this time they get him in the backfield. Well, I, I think calling the plays, you've got to be aware of this guy. He's making too many plays. And when he's that close to the line of scrimmage, defending the run, not allowing your running back to even get up to the line of scrimmage, you've got to do something to make him pay for that. If he's going to cheat up to the line of scrimmage, if you're calling the plays, listen up. This is a great time to go play action and try to throw the ball right over top of his head. He's out of bounds. That's the 25. Third and, 12. third and 12 coming up on this one ball on the 25 and that'll bring up a punting situation yeah they just couldn't connect on the pass there that was a very good stand by this defense Second board to punt Excellent punt. Brought down the 39 yard line. They're ready to start another drive, hoping to duplicate the results of the last one, which ended in a touchdown. As long as this quarterback has time to throw, then you can guarantee that he'll find the open man. Aaron and out long. Missed him. The defensive coordinator did a great job with the play call there. He put his defense in alignment in a position to be able to make a play on the football. Everything worked perfectly. They just dropped the football. Boy, the offense caught a break there. Washington holds a four-point lead. Counter right side. And he stopped behind the line. Loss of one yard on the play. That makes it third and 11. From their own 38 yard line. It's third down. Three down, three down. Choose the mic. Makes the catch, and the defense is all over him. They bring him down for a loss. They couldn't get anything to work, and it will be fourth down. They did a pretty good job of not letting the offense get much going on that possession. Brown awaits the snap. Tackle made at the 21-yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Catches it, and that's all. That's four yards on the play. You know, little passes like this force the defense to start to come up. Then you can see an offense take their chances downfield later to take advantage of the defense starting to cheat up. And he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. Jones gains about two yards on the run. They're about four yards away here on third down. Open man, quick strike, and he can't pull it in. Strong showing by the defense. You always like to get the other team's offense off the field as fast as you can. McGrew awaiting the return. 
Booming kick. McGrew fields it at the 26. He got hit hard. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Washington is up by four. Tosses out to the tailback on the screen. Tackle made at the 40-yard line. The D sniffs out the screen pass and holds him to a short game. Contain, contain, contain. That's the only way you can shut down a guy with 4-2 speed. And he throws it away. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. From their own 40-yard line, third down. Going deep. Doesn't get there. Nice job there to bring up a fourth down. Pretty good throw here by the quarterback, but he couldn't quite get it in there. That was a nice job by the defense. And they're coming after this punter. Wilson fields it at the 19, and down he goes at the 25-yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even, and with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Throws it in a hurry. He's pushed out of bounds around the 39-yard line. That makes it first and 10. It's first and 10. Ball on the 39-yard line. He lost the ball. It's scooped up, and it's a lineman that's got it. And they make the stop around the 38-yard line. Stanford's going to take their first time out of the half. He's taken down at the 46. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. And it looks like they're going to bring everyone in tight for this one. On the ground, and he is hammered. Loss of one there for the halfback. The Huskies are going to call their second timeout. He really got a hold of that one. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Washington is up four. Screen pass. He's got his half back. He's tackled at the 16. A four-yard loss. This defense is fast enough that they can create negative yards on completed passes. So the offense might want to consider that next time they try that play. Second and 14. Ball on the 16-yard line. Here we go. Red 68. Red 68. Jack, Jack. Fox 2. Fox 2. Left hot. Quick throw out to the receiver. They'll bring him down at the 27. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. We've played a half. The Huskies lead 14-10. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. I love this first half. Two defenses that will flat stick their face in the fan. I mean, there was some hitting going on out there. Good, clean, tough football in the first half. Much like you experienced David, there was almost a, a magic number for your teams at Georgia. If, if you got to a, a certain number of points, 
game was over. Yeah, when we when we, I was there for my four years, when our team scored over 17 points, we, we were undefeated. So when you have a great defense, first of all, you have high expectations. You expect to come in and shut the opponent out. It, and the offense on the other side, you know what you got too. You don't have to go out there and try to fling it around the yard and score 30 points a game. You don't have to put a lot of pressure on yourself. You just execute the plays that are in front of you and realize that punts aren't going to kill you. I got a dominant side of the football. Play towards that strength. Don't shoot myself on the foot on the other side of the football. We've done what we can do here at halftime. Time to get you back out to the second half. We'll keep an eye on everything going on in college football. Brad Nestler and Kirk Herbstreit ready with a call. The Washington Very close game now as we start the second half. Wilson. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Huskies continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. He gets out to about the 28-yard line. That's a That'll make it second to seven. Second down and seven coming up here. Ball on their own 28. And he makes it out to about the 31-yard line. From their own 41 yard line, it's first down. Nice run there. Jones picks up about seven yards on the run. That'll bring up second and three. Quick throw, and he's tackled at the 44-yard line. That's good for a of eight yards. First, First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 44. He fights forward to about the 43. The halfback picks up a yard. on the play. The halfback lucky to get anything on that toss play. This is the eighth play of this drive. Here's the halfback on the screen. He's at the 30 and he's taken down around the 22 yard line. That makes it first and ten. ten. Two times, two times. From the 22-yard line, first down. They line up in the jumbo set. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. This is the 10th play of the drive. And they hit him in the backfield. They lose three yards there. Really, they just had nowhere to go after the catch. That makes it third and 15. Here's the 11th play of the drive. He 
flings it. Finds his receiver. Touchdown. Almost impossible pass to defend, and it goes for six. Yep, the defense would have needed 12 guys on the field that time. Trying to go up by three, they'll kick the extra point. He makes the PAT. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. That's a great tackle at the 35-yard line. He throws right. Up the middle for a nice game. Down he goes, right around the 28-yard line. He's under pressure. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. Number eight, he intended to see the other way. That makes it second, second and 10. Ball on the 28-yard line. Bring him down behind the line. Loss of four on the play. That brings up third and 14. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Pulls down the catch and he's got room here. And he hits him hard at the two. They'll spread the field with five wide. Touchdown, Huskies! And he adds the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Wow, close game here. And up and down the field with both these offenses matching what the others done. Well, it's fun to watch each offense get an opportunity to go out and make plays. And you're right, you almost feel as, as if one offense feels challenged and has to be able to bounce back, and they've done that. And here comes the offense again. They'll try to make it two touchdowns and two possessions. Great passing was the key for the offense the last time they had the ball. They were able to pick apart the defense and get down the field for a touchdown. And they'll get him in the backfield. From their own 22-yard line, it's second down. knocked out immediately after the catch. Good pitch and catch there on second down. Yep, it was good enough to get him the first down. That's just a nice play. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 45-yard line. Yeah. 
Tackle after a decent pickup. That brings him second and five. Quick strike to the receiver. Tackle at the 39. Number 22 makes the tackle at the 39 yard line. From the 39 yard line, first down. Again, he'll get the call. He fights forward to about the 36. There's a strike complete. Tackle made at the 31. That's good for a five yards. That'll bring up 32. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Call it a gain of five yards. And this play is number eight on the drive. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. From the 23-yard line, second down. Makes his way out to about the 15. That's a gain of eight on the play. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Makes it to the 12-yard line. That's good for a three yards. That'll make it second and seven. Second down and seven. Ball on the 12-yard line. And they got him for a loss. The way the safety was playing up toward the line of scrimmage shows you what they think of the offense's passing game. Not a lot of respect for it. We're at the 12th play of the drive. Throws it. Got his receiver. Touchdown. These guys need to be aware this aerial attack is capable of making some big plays. They've got to get on their toes. So the kicker will line up here and try to give his team a three-point lead with this extra point. And he tacks on the extra point. Stanford yet set to kick this one away. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. I was really impressed with their last series. They came out with a focus on the passing game, and the offense got the job done. We'll see if they have the same strategy here. He makes it to the 28-yard line. And they make the stop around the 28-yard line. Somebody jumped early down there. False start, start. Offense. offense. It'll be third down again after that penalty. Yeah, now they have more yards to Still pick up for the first down. Third and 12 coming up on this one. Ball on the 23. Fires that quickly to the tailback. 
and he's level at the 30-yard line. That series left the offense scratching their heads a little. And now they should come away with pretty good field position, so consider that a big stop. These special teams have done it before, blocking punts. It looks like they're coming after this one. He's pushed out of bounds at the 39-yard line. They got into the end zone last time. Let's see if they can match that on this possession. As long as this quarterback has time to throw, then you can guarantee that he'll find the open man. On the ground, right side. He's taken down at the 42. So with one quarter remaining, the Cardinal lead 24-21. in this very pivotal fourth quarter. Stanford is up by three. He wants it all. It's third down and seven yards to go. Ball in the 42. Fires out to his wideout. We might look back on this game when it's all over and say that's the point where they won the football game with that stop. They're stacking the line. It looks like they're coming after this punt. He punts it away, and it's a great kick. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. You know, at that point, I think, Brad, the quarterbacks are just better off just taking a sack. You have to be very careful as you're feeling pressure to throw the ball just to throw the ball. If you feel like you're not going to be able to make a play and the defense got you, just give up on that play and get ready for the next down. He throws left. It's complete. They'll bring him down at about the 45. He's tackled around the 45-yard line. He laterals, knocked out of bounds, right around the 44-yard line. That brings up second and nine. Throws quickly back to the tight end, brought down around the 39-yard line. Tackles him hard at the 33. From the 33 yard line, second down. On the run, gets it to his man. And he shoved out of bounds around the 31-yard line. And he might want it all here and does. Missed him. The quarterback didn't get enough on the long ball. Now the quarterback can't worry about getting hit back there. He's got to step up and make the throw downfield to the receiver. They'll call on the field goal unit here for this long field goal attempt. He gets it up, and it's long enough. No good. He hooked it right.
Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Stanford is up a field goal. Caught, open field, swings it left. He's got his fullback, and they push him out right around the 40. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down mark. Runs it right, nice pickup. That's good for a gain of four yards. That makes it first and 10. And he stopped behind the line. That was a loss of one yard. That makes it second and ten. It's second and ten. Ball on the 43. He's out of bounds at about the 47 yard line. That's a game four. That makes it third and seven. Pass complete and taken down immediately. The Brew will be the return man. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Strike complete, he's down. That's a D five on the play. That brings him second and five. Right, two, watch two, watch two. A long day for you. Ready. Easy. 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 It's the tailback, and he's taken down at the 33 yard line. it out to his receiver in a hurry. And he's tackled at the 37. Gain of one on the play. That'll bring up third and six. Zips it to the back. And down he goes at about the 43-yard line. Complete pass and hit hard as he came down with it. That makes it second and eight. Second down, eight yards to go. Ball on the 45. And he's not going to get back to the line. No game. Third down. Here we go. Here we go. Right, two. Watch two. Let's go. Easy, easy, easy. Not not feel feel it. It. And a quick throw. Tackle right around the 46 yard line. Caught with room to work. He goes out of bounds around the 44 yard line. That brings up second and nine. Fires quick, he catches another. Stackle made at the 38. That makes it third and three. Just under three to go in regulation. Makes it out to about the 23. That makes it first and 10. Finds his man and they 
Take him down immediately. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. He's hit and taken down. Number 17 was the intended It's fourth down. They'll call on the field goal unit here. It's up. He clanks it off the upright. No good. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. He makes his way to about the 28. Jones gets eight yards on the play. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. They give to the tailback. They'll drop him for a loss. Washington will take their second time out of the half. Just under two minutes in the game. Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. That's going to bring up fourth down. Just a great job by the defense. These guys are disguising their defense so well that they're confusing the quarterback and the offensive line. Oh, excellent punt. And down he goes to the 37-yard line. And what a game it's been for this quarterback, Kirk. Well, I think this whole offense is really clicking, and it's allowing him as a quarterback just to settle in and find his rhythm. The thing that surprised me today is that we know about his ability to throw the football, but here's a guy that can also hurt you with his feet if he has to. Well, it's time to show how mentally tough he is now. Can he lead them to a winning drive here? Late in the fourth quarter in a one-possession game, and poise is what it's all about here. Who's going to have it and who won't? Going deep. And got him! And they make the stop at about the 23-yard line. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. He's taken down at the 19. They try to get a head start there. False start, offense. Little stumbles like these can kill your offensive progress. Still second down. Second down and 11 yards to the sticks. Ball on the 24-yard line. This one's going deep to the end zone. Almost picked off. Great reaction to get his hands in the way of that pass. That's not an easy play to make. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. Quick throw out to the receiver. What a play to set him up with a first and goal. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. This quarterback is tough as nails, Brad. He's going to sit in that pocket and give himself a chance. The only problem is, at some point, you've got to have a feel. Almost that sixth sense on when to get out of there and avoid the pressure, or just to throw the ball before you get hit. Touchdown, and they take the lead.
And he adds the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. At the corner, he's to the 20. He's knocked out of bounds around the 33-yard line. Well, this is the chance. Late in the fourth quarter, they're behind, but they've got an opportunity now to come back and win it. Throws complete, and he's got space to work. They'll bring him down at the 44-yard line. Stanford's going to take their first time out of the half. From their own 44-yard line, first down, under a minute left. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. He's brought down in the open field. That play was going nowhere. Yeah, give a lot of credit to the defense here, recognizing pass and swarming to the receiver. They get to the quarterback, and now the ball is loose. He's tackled at the 39. Good hustle there by the D lineman. It's often an overused term when referring to defensive linemen, but that's what they mean when they talk about a guy has a motor that's running. He never quit, and he played to the whistle. So not a lot of time left, and they've got an opportunity right now, if they score, to put the nail in the coffin in this game. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. Stanford's out of timeouts. You're an offensive coordinator, you love this play. His quarterback will take a knee. A great game here today in a tight one. 28-24, Husky. That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreet, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye.